beautiful. I see that you dare to click on video. You dare to watch. You dare to recreate. You just dare to be a part of experience. And you know what I say to that? Good! You are not like all these other little mousy people who are just like, oh no, I am not brave enough to click on video. I could not even attempt to watch world's hardest YouTube makeup tutorial. You can stay! I like you. You're just like, oh, you know what? I can do this, blah, blah, blah. So everybody else on this web of internet is either a makeup enthusiast, a makeup guru, a makeup artist. But you know what? No one can level because Pilaf is more than just an enthusiast, a guru, an artist. She is a goddess. Pilaf is a makeup goddess. Pilaf is just goddess in general. Aphrodite see her in the street and she is just like, oh, it is Pilaf. I cannot look. She is too beautiful. Suck it. Aphrodite. Are you ready? Are you braced? World, are you ready? You're about to have thousands of makeup goddesses walking through the towns, showing everyone how stunning they are. Everyone is going to be blinded and it is going to be such a marvelous experience. With all of that said and done, let's get on to the makeup. Now, if you are like Pilaf, you have skin that is so thirsty that it is never ever quenched. So just get as much of the liquid courage for your face. Oh, that feels so slimy. I don't think I picked a good one this time. Just make sure that you drown your skin in any kind of moisture just to make sure that all of the scene stick is going to go on flawlessly. It may take a bit of time for it to really into your skin, but at the same time, you want to have a flawless canvas. So now that our skin is all of the liquidy goodness and our skin is feeling nice and oh, she's just feeling so plump. Like baby bottom. And really, is that not the goal in life to have skin so supple it is like a baby's little bottom? Do not be slapping little baby bottom. They have bigger things to deal with, like pooping for the first time. I'm sure that this is a very traumatic event. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to focus on my goggles today. So I'm just going to get my trusty best friend, Sin Stick. We are just going to lather her on all of our scene. So my scene today being my sleep deprivation mainly. And then just get yourself a brush or a sponge. If you like to sponge rather than brush, that is a okay with peel off. Makeups is what you want it to be. But now that Sin Stick has done her job and our goggles are looking, oh, stunning. Oh, they just look so good. What sleep deprivation? What caffeine addiction? Oh, just what? Now that scene stick is on, we are just going to go in with the eye chalk. So I am going to use my Holy Grail makeup palette, my Morphe Color Burst 35B palette, because it has two colors that kind of match peel off complexion. This one, which just screams like, oh, do you know what melanin is? Oh, have you ever been in the sun? And the answer is no. I almost blend in with background. And then this one, which is kind of more of a creamy color, but still pale. Just find an eye chalk palette that has nude colors for you. I do not mind what they are, because goddesses come in different shapes, sizes, and complexions. So I am just going to go in with the, oh, what is melanin color? Also known as white. Just to give a nice little base to set some of the scene stick. And then I will go on top with some of the creamy color just to add a bit of definition we are just trying to make the eyeshadow at this point look a little bit natural because i have something really fun in store for liner i am so excited but at the same time like if liner was already complicated this is going to be a time and then we are just going to get the darker colors and we are just going to build up our crease so that our goggles look, oh, naturally, like they're gigantic bug eyes going against the windshield before they go split. The eyes are the windows to the soul. And I want the windows to be big enough so that people could jump through them and be like, oh, peel off. I know how magnificent you are because I was able to look into your eyes because you were so big that I was able to leap through them. And it is like, oh, well, Small eyes are also okay. It just means that you are more mysterious because the windows are kind of smaller. Yeah, smaller windows, more mysterious. Bigger windows, less mysterious. 
are good and bad for both. I did not wash brushes this week because like I ran out of time and that is okay. So this brush that I have is a little bit of purple still in it but I've rubbed it enough on my pants that like most of it has come off. So back to the Holy Grail makeup palette. There is this color. I lost the names of the mages ago. This blue one. The lighter blue but not the shimmer blue. Not that one, not that one but this one. I'm just going to get that on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. Give my inner corner a bit of a, a pop. A bit of a pizzazz. A bit of a ooh la la sensation. You can start off light and we just build it up. There is no harm in starting off with a light bit of pigment and then building it because you can always add pigment. Now that you have blended the beautiful little oh, blue moment and you... Is this not a little bit of fun? Is this not a little bit of a... Oh, hello, sir. I see you. I see what you are doing. Oh, but it is not enough because no look is complete without glitter. So peel off once again went shopping and spent way too much money on some glitter, which like with this time we are not looking at price. I know that last time I looked at the price tag of this, I was just like, oh, did I really spend that much? So I'm not doing that to myself again. But I have bought myself some Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Gel for eye, face, and body stuffs. Yes, and I bought it in the shade of Soul Love. Ooh, eat that, Aphrodite. We're just going to have some fun. We're just going to put it on our hand. Oh, look at that. Look at that cute little glitter turd. Oh, she... I, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I am so excited. So just get a little brush. This one, I do not know what this is for. It came in like some other makeup palette that I had. And we are just going to pop that on the inner corner. So that the blue really has a whoa kind of moment. Yes. We are just going to pop that. But this time not get glitter in actual eyeball. Peel off that was way too much glitter. You got ahead of yourself again. But does that not look stunning? Oh, and we still have glitter turd left over. So peel off is just going to cover our hand with it because is that, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, I just, no look, it's complete without glitter. So what peel off is going to do now, we are going to get a liner gel pot, which is from ColourPop, which is in all honesty, one of my favorite brands because it is good priced. It is good pigment. It is just, you get what you pay for. And sometimes you get more than what you pay for. And is that not what you want from makeup brand or brand in general? You buy one thing and you get it and you're like, oh, I can't believe I only spent this much. Oh, just, I love it. I love it so, so much. So this one is the black one and it is called Swerve, which like, I don't know why it is that name. I would have called it licorice or something like that. If no, peel off does not like licorice. People that like licorice are... Who hurt you? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the black and I'm going to line my bottom lashes and my upper lashes. <laughs> Peel off is not excited for this. So because I do not actually have a table for, for my mirror to sit on, I'm going to squeeze it between my kneecaps and then I'm going to lift my eye up and I'm just going to... Okay, apparently flinch and then let the eye, left eye. I beg of you, baby cakes. Please, today, we are going to agree. This is at such a weird angle. After much struggle and flinching and yes, mm, it, it was experience. So what I'm then going to do is just try and buff out the black a bit. So I'm just going to get the, whatever this is. I think it is called a smudge brush. A smudger brush. See, I was close. And then just get the Holy Grail palette and then just put a bit of the black on it and then just buff it out a teeny bit. It does not have to be buffed out a lot, but just enough that it is like, oh. And then once the black is down, just get the blue brush again because like it already has blue on it. So just get some more blue on it. And then we want it to be kind of a fanny shape. So just get your fingers to like squish the bristles and then blend like that. It is a little bit harder, but at the same time, don't mess up another brush. Just use the one that you already have. So what I'm trying to do today is I'm trying to like set up this section of my face so that the only thing left to do after I do the liner is the lashes because I, for some reason, I want to set myself up for failure. So if the liner does not work out, I went to all of this effort just for it to be like, oh, 
So I'm just going to do brows. I'm just going to get a little gel pot that I think I spent four dollars on on Kmart and a brow brush and I am just going to do my brows how I usually do them. Once again, makeup is really how you want to do it. Everyone has different shapes and different colors to their face, things that make it beautiful, things that maybe you want to cover up a bit. Everyone is different and that is what is so great about the world and great about makeup. So however you like to do your brows, do them that way. The way the peel off like to do them, her brows are pretty defined on her face. She actually really, really likes that. So I like to just make them look a little bit thicker and a little bit bushier, kind of like that. Like they look like they are almost Cara Delevingne, which like baby cakes call me. I am already loving how this is coming together. Oh, peel off. Pet on back. Once again, you, my dear, are just stunning. Oh, look at me now, Aphrodite. <laughs> Now that all of that is done, we have set the foundations for this beautiful goddess skyscraper to be built. Oh, and this is where the stress really starts to come in because Peel Off decided just a classic black wing liner. Like, she is good. She is classic. She is classic for a reason. She is stunning. She just really sets off the look for all makeups. But today, she's boring. So I decided that I was going to get some designer leave yes it does not say that it is not okay to put on face so therefore peel off is going to put it on her face so many people go for gold and like platinum and like ugh so basic peel off is going for copper why because i want to be able to conduct electricity from my eyes and also if you see copper in like a salt form like copper sulfate or copper nitrate like she is this beautiful gorgeous blue if you get gold sulfate and make her a salt she is this weird looking green and it is like blech why would i want that on my face blech this is why it is going to cause stress because to get this on you have to glue it so i am going to put on some lash glue wait for that to get tacky which is going to take till tomorrow and then put this on top okay so i was going to use white because i thought that white would be a lot easier to cover up with the gold leaf but instead because mr sephora White eyeliner is stupid, stupid boy. We are just going to go in with the gel pot again and outline where we are going to stick the lash glue. So this is why I didn't particularly want to use black because like now that it is there, like I cannot do anything about it. So hopefully, hopefully this works, but that is okay. So what I am going to do is I have this wing liner brush from my favorite brush company, Zoeva. She just, oh, her brushes are just so good. And then I'm getting some new false eyelash adhesive, also eye feather adhesive. Wait, do I have to cut top? Oh, that is so annoying. Why would you do that to peel off? Peel off has scissors. Such an inconvenience. So I think I have to cut the top. Ah, okay, well, it is all over the little bottle now. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on my hand. Just get your wing liner brush. Get some eyelash glue on it and start flicking and dragging and hoping for the best. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to close our eyes and just press on and hope that she works. That did not work. Okay, I think the key to make this work is to do it at one little bit at a time. So we are going to get the lash glue and then we're just going to do little, little bits at time. This is going to be a very delicate, time consuming process, but aren't the best makeup looks time consuming? So after much panic, much work, much dedication, she is not the sharpest line you have ever seen, but at the same time, she does have a certain kind of finesse about her that you cannot deny just looks absolutely phenomenal i'm actually so happy with how this turned out now that we have done this eye it only makes sense to do it to the other eye so once again just get some glue it gets very repetitive after a while okay so i'm just going to go with little little sections this time peel off is learned from this time from last time so we are going to start where do we want to start we are going to start here okay so then we just wait for it to get a bit tacky this lash glue seems to dry really really fast so we have to work a bit quick and then get ourselves some little pinchy boys mine are naturally flamingo i fear that if i 
and my usual self and shout on camera the beautiful leaf will break because it is so delicate and then just press her on make sure she is nice and stuck down and then you can just start taking away bits and pieces or folding her down if you feel as though that is easiest are my eyes now magnetic after about 40 minutes we got their baby cakes our graphic copper leaf liner is looking i'm speechless i we look so good look at us oh just so it all in pet on their pillow we look stunning we look amazing suck it aphrodite suck it Pilov is amazing, she is coming for your crown, that is just a joke because Pilov always had your crown. So now that that is all done, we are just going to move on to the lashes. So I'm just going to get my guillotine and I'm going to curl my lashes ever so gently because we do not want to shift the liner after all of that time. Pilov does the curling first in the mascara and then the lashes because she has droopy sad lashes. So eye feathers tend to like fall off of her face. Perfect. And then, oh, we get to wait for eternity for the lashes to really sit. I have three pairs in this. I think I'm going to go for my big flyaway feathers. So big that if I bet my eyelids, you are going to be like, and blown away by my beauty and also my feathers. So just get your little pinchy boys. Just clamp, pinch, done. Get some glue. This is my good glue. We'll just put a nice line on the lashes. Wait an eternity for it to get tacky. I'm not going to use the hair dryer this time. You're going to wait. One moment. See, that was so much easier. That only took like 10 seconds instead of waiting till New Year's. So we're just going to stick them on, try and stick them a little bit above the actual lashes so you're not sticking them to your actual lashes, if that makes sense, because you do not want to peel off your actual natural lashes with the feathers when you take off the makeups, but also do not ruin the liner because that took us 45 minutes. Now that our goggles are on, they're looking stunning, they're looking beautiful, we are just going to finish off the rest of the face. So because Pilaf's whole skin is seen, because like, she's lactose intolerant and she still continues to have chocolate and all of the lactosey goodnesses which comes up with pimples and just oh just absolute travesty one day i will have self-control today is not that day so we are just going to scene stick the whole thing i do not own any foundation because when i do my everyday makeups i genuinely like to keep my freckles so i just keep the scene stick to only the true sin areas, but whenever I get on camera, suddenly it is just like, I want makeup everywhere. I want it all over me. I want to bathe, bathe in the makeups. Now the face has been graced by the glory that is in stick. We are missing a bit of definition. We have to pound that back into our face. Just get a brush, get your contour. I use powder contour. If you use like creamy contour, go ahead. Just add a bit of shape back into your face. So the way that I do it, I get my powder. I get my good old boy mark, which is like a tool thing because like I only need one like one shade of contour because like pale, like it just, it is unnecessary to have anymore. And then I do a fish face. Mm -hmm. And then we go in for the nose. Today I'm going to try and do a little bit more of a ooh la la kind of nose. Usually I just do a flick and then a flick. I think I'm just going to try and put a little bit more in today. And then just get a lighter shade and then just fill in the rest of the things. Just a little bit of a ooh, a little bit of a ooh, a little bit of a so to highlight, I just usually go for my BYS Berries palette just because like I'm I'm quite broke most of the time. So I do not have the dollars to really afford the high-end kind of brands when it comes to that kind of thing. But the BYS palette has some pigment when it comes to the the highlight. I just oh it's just 
delicious it is delicious and then we just do a good little a good little dust yes and then when it comes to the nose just do a cute little toot toot and a cute little poop poop and then just dust off any excess and then for the cupid bow just do a cute little duck face and a nice little dust and then peel off went shopping the other day to really try and expand her repertoire when it comes to her makeups collections and i i keep trying to find myself a good nude lipstick so hopefully the one that i just picked up which is the urban decay vice insanity cream or oh, insanity is that not accurate and then just do your lips however you want to do them i just follow the natural line of my lips because i do have some kind of fat lips you cannot see because there's some concealer on it but i also do not have lip liner because like one broke two i do not really no point if you know point of lip liner please let me know down in bottom comments let me know down in comments, not let me know down in bottom. I don't know how you would do that. Ooh, she's kind of orange. Ooh, that is a different color for peel off, but at the same time, I do kind of like it. It kind of ties in with the blue and the copper and... Ooh, yes! Peel off! Yes! I love this! Oh, and you know what? Just like that, we are done! Oh, look at that! Look at our goggles, our fluffy little brows, our lips, our contour, our highlight. Yes! Peel off once again. Bow to you. Suck it, Aphrodite. Peel off is here. Just like that, we are done. You are looking stunning. You are just looking magnificent. Like, oh, if, oh, I bow to you. You bow to me. We bow together. We stand up. We have our crowns. We have our scepters. We wave to everyone like, oh, hello, try and be us. Like, no one will ever compare to us. But at the same time, they can at least try. You hear what Pilof say, but because Pilof is a makeup goddess and he's on YouTube, there's only one thing left to do. Sexy Slamas! <laughs>just like that we are done your makeup is looking stunning i am so proud of me i'm so proud of you oh uh, if you do recreate any of this please tag me on instagram please like i really want to see how it works out for you i just oh uh, i had so much fun doing this video i hope that you enjoyed i hope that when you do do this you go out into the world show them how magnificent you are how stunning you are how much of a goddess you are and when you are out there do not forget what dear mother always tell me. She is wisest woman I have ever met in this world. We must praise my mother. She is smart, educated woman. And she always tell me. If you can't say something nice, say something cruel.